Hey everybody, Daryl here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of the amazing Shinsengumi, Heroes in Love. We are on chapter 5 of Sanosuke Harada's route, titled, That's Got Nothing to Do With You. So it sounds like we're going to have a fight, but hopefully it's not some stupid misunderstanding. Hopefully it's uh, actually stuff to do with his work. So it looks like we're finally going to have some conflict here. Hopefully it's uh, something we can deal with. Let's see what they got in store for us. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. He never ended up crossing any boundaries that day. We did kiss, though. I had a feeling my relationship with Sonosuke was starting to change. At least, I could tell something was different about Sonosuke. Morning, Chizuru. You're cute as always. <laughs> he suddenly nibbled on my ear from behind me. I couldn't help but scream. What are you doing, Sonosuke? That's a great reaction. But can't you be a little friendlier? What's that supposed to mean? Say my name again. This time with a little less anger. Your name, huh? Sanosuke. Yeah, like that. It sounds way better that way. This time he put his hands on my hips. S stop it! What if someone hears us or even worse sees us? Is it that big of a deal? That just makes it all the more exciting. No, it doesn't. Oh, are you sure? Okay, next time let's do it in a more private setting. Sanosuke. He smiled gleefully as he talked. W what are you saying? We can't do that. You are blushing. You are so cute, Chizuru. Stop making fun of me. I'm not. If you're embarrassed to be seen like this, then next time we'll do it somewhere no one can see. Sonosuke kissed my cheek. He never learns. Sonosuke continued to touch me without worrying about being seen. Last time he apologized for trying to take advantage of me. He apologized so sincerely. Maybe he wasn't just doing this because it was convenient for him. Is he trying to show me how much he loves me? If that's true, then I'm happy. I whispered those thoughts in my head. I was embarrassed at the thought of someone seeing us, but I liked what he was doing. A heroine that finally admits that she actually likes the affection! I wondered what Sonosuke was thinking as, as he touched me. How do I feel about Sonosuke? I... I'm in love with him. I'm actually readily admitting this early in the game. That's really surprising. I'm in love with him. I didn't like being touched by others, but Sonosuke was an exception. Did he know that? You know, we just totally skipped over the like. We're just jumped right into love. Just feet first into the deep end of the pool. I hope that he understood how I felt as he touched me. I couldn't get rid of my worries, but I devoted myself to Sonosuke. I wanted to do something for him. Those were my true feelings. While we were together, I wished we could officially become lovers. One day, Soji unexpectedly came to visit me. Have you seen Sonosuke? His words were polite, but his tone was a bit cold. Sonosuke? Oh, he went out on patrol. He hasn't left yet, so I came to search for him. Soji sounded annoyed as he sighed. He continued to stare at me. Can you help me look for him? Um, me? Yes. You are in charge of taking care of him, right? I heard you two were rather close. It was as if he was asking, am I mistaken? He smiled teasingly at me. Just because I take care of him doesn't mean I watch him 24-7. I have no idea where he is. I angrily replied to his provoking words. If you have business with him, please search for him by yourself. Well, I can't do that. Plus, it would be better for him if you help me search, right? What's that supposed to mean? Whatever you want it to mean. Soji smiled mischievously at me. <laughs> if it's for Sonosuke... I emphasized the last part. Soji nodded his head as if nothing had happened. I'm sure that's how it will turn out. If you don't help, you won't be doing him any good. In any case, it's what Captain Kondo ordered. You have no right to refuse. He informed me with a clear voice. I became even more upset. Soji, you sure do have a great personality. Oh, I hear that often. I tried to get even with him, but Soji was always one step ahead of me. I ended up going with Soji into town. We walked around Kyoto. 
Do you know any of the places he'd go? No, not really. I see. Then, let's go to the red light district. Really? That's his kind of place still? No, he wouldn't go there anymore after he has me. What? Well, why there? Why? That's where he'd most likely be. I was shaken up, but Soji answered as if it was an obvious fact. If that's what he thought, he should have just taken me there in the first place. Wait, Sonosuke might be having fun in the Red Light District. That has to be a lie, right? I was worried as I followed Soji into Shambara, a famous Red Light District. He wandered around aimlessly, but when I started to think our efforts were wasted, we saw a familiar face coming out of one of the buildings. Yep. I knew you were here, Sonosuke. I was paralyzed with shock, but in my place, Soji smiled and called out to him. Soji? What are you doing here? Wait, why is Chizuru here too? Sonosuke was surprised, but he soon became angry. You weren't at the base, so I had Chizuru help me find you. Be that as it may, coming out of a geisha house. You must have gotten really intimate. Huh? Soji smiled as I questioned what he was saying. A geisha house is where courtesans live. If I remember correctly, they are sent to work at tea houses and in burlesque shows. Well, I think they also invite customers into their private rooms. I expected no less from someone used to this type of fun. Each and every word out of Soji's mouth stabbed my heart deeper and deeper. That's got nothing to do with you. That's true. It has nothing to do with me, and I'm not interested. It's just... If you're going to buy a geisha, could you do it when you're off duty? If you skip work to do it, I'll be caught out like this to search for you again. Honestly, it's a waste of my time. Oh, really now? Sorry about that. I didn't expect you to be so well-mannered. You're not going to defend yourself? Soji glanced at me. No. What happened? I was waiting for him to deny his actions, but he crushed my heart completely. So, that's how it is. Allow me to excuse myself. I gathered all my disgust as I glared at Sonosuke. That was the type of person he really was. I knew men were like that, but... I realized I was just an easy target. These thoughts made me even angrier. I can't believe... I trusted someone like that. I'm such an idiot. As I thought that, tears rolled down my cheeks. Chizuru. When Sonosuke called my name, my heart writhed in pain. I lost myself to my feelings. <laughs> I quickly wiped my tears with the back of my hand. I'm tired of this. I don't want to be here anymore. Chizuru. Excuse me. I couldn't stand being there any longer. I left them behind and ran away. I heard them call my name from behind me. I didn't turn around, nor did I stop running. I continued to frantically run away. And I'm going to get myself in trouble. After I went- Oh, I guess not. I made it back safely. After I went back to the base, I shut myself in my room and continued crying. Shizuru. Sonosuke called for me at my door, but I couldn't answer. Couldn't or wouldn't? After a minute or two, I heard him sigh, and then footsteps getting further away. My chest hurt. My vision was blurred by my tears. I frantically wiped them away. I'm such a fool. I misunderstood his feelings. Touching me meant nothing to him. I didn't want to be depressed forever, but I couldn't clear up my somber feelings. After that, Shinpachi came to talk to me. He spent a lot of time sighing. Oh, should I say this? I heard what happened. It had either become a rumor or he heard it from Sonosuke directly. Shinpachi scratched his head as he worried about me. I know you're hurt, but... Well, I can't say it very well, but could you believe in Sonosuke? You might think I'm contradicting what I said earlier about being careful about him, but... He really cherishes you. I know that for a fact. Shinpachi spoke with a serious face. I stayed silent and hung my head. I... want to believe in him... Oh, I'm sure it's really a misunderstanding as these games like to write those things into the stories. I want to believe in Sonosuke, but I was scared of being hurt again. I loved Sonosuke. I was sure he understood that deep down. 
if he really cherished me, and yet, he continued visiting other women, I would have to deal with these kind of feelings for the rest of my life. I wasn't sure if I was ready for that. Even though Shinpachi was trying to cheer me up, I couldn't smile at him. For some reason, I tried being considerate of his feelings. For some reason, because I'm nice, maybe? <laughs> From then on, Sonosuke continued to talk to me in a lively tone whenever he saw me. He didn't touch me anymore. He was still depressed, and I didn't know how to face him. Even though I didn't want it to continue like this, even though I wanted to smile like I used to, I didn't know what to do. The more I thought about it, the less I tried to do anything about it. I didn't know what to do with my emotions. Ah, really super short chapter. Chapter 6, don't get in the way. Who are you talking to? Who knows, maybe who's really just there buying us a hair ornament or something like that. You know how stuff goes in these games. Alright, well, I'm gonna jump right into the next episode. Uh, so, in this recording, start the next one. Hope to see you there, or in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.